Hey everyone, Jeremy here, and today I'm extremely excited to show you full NDI support inside Rivet. Rivet was already the easiest way to get SRT contribution from almost any device around the world. And now adding full NDI support, both encoding and decoding, it becomes an even more well-rounded tool for your productions. So today I'm going to show you two examples of when this could come in handy. In the first example, we are going to take an NDI source on our network, which will start at a production bot running vMix. We're going to pull that NDI stream into my MacBook Pro that I'm running right now. And then we're going to stream SRT from the MacBook Pro using Rivet up to a decoder in the cloud. And then for our second example, we're going to reverse it. We're going to take an SRT stream from the cloud, decode it using Rivet on my MacBook Pro here, and then stream NDI out into our network for use downstream. Let's take a look at both of these scenarios. First, we are going to take an NDI source into Rivet and stream out. So we have this production bot that will be running here that's going to send NDI over to Rivet, which is running on my MacBook, and that's going to stream out. So we have, let's get rid of my face here, make that a little bit smaller. We have right here, NDI to SRT stream running on Rivet. Where am I going to get this NDI source? From right here. We have our New Year's Eve helicopter running on vMix and it is going out of NDI output one in vMix here. Okay, so I'm going to click OK there. And I have this stream already set up and you can see it's super easy. All I need to do is click launch. Now it's going to uh, find my NDI source. You can see it already did that. I had it set up. So I need to just click on the NDI source, the NDI audio source here and click on start broadcast. After a quick handshake, there we go. We are now streaming SRT up to our decoder in the cloud. So that's one direction, but now let's show you the other direction. In this case, I'm going to flip it around. In this example, Rivet is going to be the SRT decoder and it's going to transmit NDI into our network. So this encoder, which is going to be running in the cloud, is going to send SRT to Rivet on my MacBook and that's going to stream NDI out to our production machine here. So how do I do this? Well, first I'm going to close my stream here and I'm going to open up Rivet here. Let's get my face out of the way there again. And right here is SRT to NDI decode and I already set this stream up. And this is pulling from a uh, SRT source inside of VVCR, which is always running. It's our, it's our test SRT stream. So I'm going to click on launch. And you'll see it spins up, it looks for the rivet ID and there it is. So all I need to do here to decode into NDI is go into my settings and make sure the video and audio checkboxes are clicked. And I'm going to click on OK and click on start playback. I'm gonna make sure my mic is muted so that you're not gonna hear this. And here we go, we have a source here this is an NDI uh, stream coming out. So the way that we know that is I'm going to go same same computer, same production bot. I'm gonna go here into NDI and there we go. Jeremy's MacBook Pro, there it is. And click on okay. And you can see we have the legendary LiveX producer, Nick Walsh coming in talking about virtual production. And that's coming right here for my MacBook. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. We always appreciate your feedback. And please feel free to join us on our Rivet Slack channel where we talk all things Rivet and SRT. Thanks for watching. Happy broadcasting.